The Kentucky Wildcats looking for back-to-back -back wins against the Florida Gators after ending a three-decade-long losing streak last season. But they know that won't be an easy task. LEX 18's Keith Farmer is live at Kroger Field, where there's surely a lot of excitement right now. He has our true blue coverage. Hey, Keith. Yeah, you know, Kylan, we had to be outside here at Kroger Field because the atmosphere for this one, well, let me just say there's been a noticeable difference from game one to game two to now game three because this is a big one. You got the ninth ranked Gators that are in town. Certainly one of those games that can help this Kentucky program and vault it back onto the national stage. We think that's where they belong, but they have certainly not been in the top 25 yet. So many fans enjoying the tailgating beforehand. There was even a full Gator that was cooked and had by all. Eleanor will have more on some of the tailgating in just a minute, but we also saw the Wildcats come through the catwalk as they look to beat Florida in back-to-back -back years for the first time since 1977 and 78. And also one of the interesting things here that made the atmosphere even better was the Heisman House. It's in town. Fans could go in. They could hear from former Wildcats like Andre Woods and Tim Couch. They could also see the Heisman Trophy, take pictures with it. As for Tim Couch, he said he saw Sawyer Smith last week. He was excited by what he saw and he's excited to see what he can do in his first start for Kentucky. He surprised me. He threw a touchdown in the first, uh, first pass of his career at UK. So um, I, I thought he did a nice job. I'm really looking forward to watching him play today. Um, I know he played some last year at Troy. Uh, Florida's going to be a little different animal. You know, it's a top 10 team in the country. Uh, but, I, but I like him. I think he's poised. Everything I've heard about him is he, he'll be able to handle the, you know, the environment, how, how hype is going to be in the stadium. Now we're going to have much more from the current Wildcats coming up later on in sports. For now, let's talk more about the fans. Let's head over to Eleanor Buckley. Thanks, Keith. It's about an hour away from game time and spirits are high here outside of Kroger Field. We've been talking to fans who are tailgating and they tell us even without QB Terry Wilson, they feel like the Cats can still come out on top tonight. Oh. I think we got it in the bag. We got in the bag. Are you nervous about uh, playing the back up? Or? Not at all. We got we got in the bag. We got in the bag. Not even worried. We're coming off a 10-3, 10 and 3 uh, season bowl win, top 10 finish. We're gonna yeah, they're sleeping we're, we're on gonna us. Win they're sleeping it. on us. Um, last year we went to the UK UF game in Gainesville. We were there for that, so we tailgated for this game this year. Go Cats! Get them go! Oh, Sawyer's, Sawyer's got this. Sawyer has this. Sawyer has this. Of course, yeah, Cats. Go Cats. my 90s always. <laughs> Stay with us tonight on LEX 18. News at 11 will have a full recap of tonight's game. But for now, Kylan, we'll send it back to you in the studio. In All right, Eleanor, thank you so much. It looks like a lot of fun. And University of Kentucky fans woke up bright and early this morning for some more fun, hoping to get some airtime on the SEC Network. Today, the network's game day show, SEC Nation, was hosted right on UK's campus. LEX 18's Catherine Collins talked with fans about the game and how they were planning to keep the energy up all day long. Ahead of the big game between UK and Florida, fans want to make sure they're heard. I'm coming here with my voice ready to scream. <laughs> Dozens showed up to be a part of SEC Network's pregame show, SEC Nation. All the hype going into the program, I just want to support and be a part of it if I can. They built the program and now it's just it's going up and up and up with Mark Stoops and uh, he's doing a fantastic job. Fans arrived before 8 this morning for the show, but they weren't concerned about the long day ahead, all culminating in a night game at Kroger Field. I got it easily. Tailgate all day and then head inside about game time and be wild. I can't wait to get in the stadium and uh, here it's a party and, and get going. And the fans we spoke to say they're ready for a great game and a Cats win. Losing Terry and everything, I think it was a little bit scary, but I think we've got a chance, and I think UK thrives off of being the underdog. The game against Florida kicks off at 7 in Lexington. Katherine Collins, LEX 18 News.